Hey scholars, this video is to help you with your May 27th assignment. We're going to analyze Genghis Khan on a fake trial. Uh, scholars, during the last couple of Google Meets, we have discussed who Genghis Khan is and how he conquered Mongolia. Today, we are going to be taking a closer look at what he specifically did as a ruler. His actions, his achievements, and his atrocities, or really bad things that he did. We will be collecting evidence and providing reasoning to support two claims. Claim number one, Genghis Khan was a golden ruler in history. Claim number two, Genghis Khan was not a golden ruler in history. Uh, obviously, in order to do this, you have to have the Golden Age word wall. So I have provided the Golden Age word wall document below. Be sure to make specific references to that in your reasoning. So open up this assignment. Obviously, again, you want to open up this Golden Age word wall document. Click here, open it in a new window so you have it ready to go. And then your work is here where it says your work, obviously. Uh, you click on that and you're going to read the preview as usual. So it says scholars, throughout the school year, we have practiced making arguments and supporting them with evidence and reasoning. We even did a debate at one point of the year to practice our argument skills. However, the ultimate form of arguing comes in a courtroom during a trial. Lawyers are constantly trying to make claims that the jury will believe and then tries to fully convince the jury by providing literal evidence and explaining how that evidence relates to the claim that they are making. So lawyers are constantly doing claim, reason, evidence, reasoning to a jury to try to get them on their side. Uh, court proceedings can be exciting in some ways because of this, and it leads to heated arguments be, uh, between the lawyers, where then the judge has to keep order, you know, order, order. All right. Um, so you guys know, like, I love, um, like, courtroom things and, like, court shows and things like that. So we're going to actually look at a video, like a little animated video, where Genghis Khan is put on trial. Um, it says, obviously, if Genghis Khan was to be put on a normal trial for his crimes, he would be found guilty of many crimes. But the trial we are looking at is different. It's a matter of historical opinion, not crimes. We will be watching an animated trial of Genghis Khan where one lawyer presents his achievements and the other highlights his atrocities. The question we are answering is, was Genghis Khan a golden ruler? Why or why not? Uh, to do this, again, I have the Golden Age word wall. You have that. Um, so let's just first, what's your task? Review the graphic organizer and examine how the information is divided. Really important that you guys understand how this is broken up. So you have the question here, claim number one, Genghis Khan was a golden ruler in history. You need three pieces of evidence from the video and you need to give three reasonings linking it to the word wall. All right, and same thing with Genghis Khan was not a golden ruler in history. Three pieces of evidence from the video and then three reasoning links to this golden age word wall. All right, how are you gonna do it? You gotta click on this YouTube link It'll open up the video for you. If there's an ad, you skip the ad, you're gonna watch the video. Um, but again, you just follow along with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and model one piece of evidence and reasoning that you guys can go ahead and take. Um, it's a reward for watching this video. And I'm gonna focus on a piece of evidence that says Genghis Khan was not a golden ruler in history. So uh, during Genghis Khan rule, he killed 40 million people, which was about 10% of the world population. So that is a piece of evidence from the video. You can, it, they will present that at one point. It says during Genghis Khan's rule, he killed 40 million people, not like directly, but his army killed 40 million people. Uh, which was about 10% of the world's population at that time. So now I need to link that to the word wall. Like, how does that prove he's not a golden ruler? That proves he's not a good person, obviously, but how does that prove he's not golden? Let's go back here. Uh, let's see, cities that are easy to navigate, have not that, that's not really related. Strong central government, a ruler or group of rulers who are trusted and make decisions to keep the Sith safe and help the Sith grow. I don't know. I don't know if he's keeping people safe if he's killing that many people. How about this, making advancement in different areas of art and education? If he's killing many people, he's not really benefiting people with education. Uh, he's not really providing jobs. He's not really providing a public work, but I think the strongest link is here, right? It shows that uh, he really wouldn't be trusted as a ruler if he's killing so many people. So I'm gonna write that in my reasoning. This evidence proves that Genghis Khan was not 
a golden ruler in history um, because he would be feared by his people due to his uh, murderous tendencies. They would not be able to trust that he can keep them safe. Right. I wouldn't be able to trust my ruler if he was known for killing everybody. And uh, I was worried that he was going to kill me, too. So that's my link there that proves that Genghis Khan was not a golden ruler in history. You need to find two other pieces of evidence proving he was not a golden ruler and three pieces of evidence proving he was a golden ruler in history. Uh, we will be talking about this in the Google Meet, so make sure you're at the Google Meet at 1030, um, and we'll be reviewing this. Again, be watching this video very closely, and I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, if you need any extra help, please reach out to Mr. Woods or I by email. Good luck, guys.